Okay, so we finished our coil. She's up and running. Um, we've made a quick circuit board. What I've done here is put two transistors on the back. That is the 2N3055 and that is the MJ15003G. And I can simply switch from one to the other via that switch there. At the moment we are running on the MJ and standard Bedini trim. I have a 5K pot here instead of the 1K and a 33 ohm instead of the 100 ohm. The reason for the 5K pot is because of the way I wind the coils with the trigger on first, we get a lot, a lot of current and a 1K pot will just not wind it down enough and we use a whole lot less wire in doing so compared to the bifiller. So every coil I've made, delayed coil, has always outperformed the bifiller coil in more ways than one. Um, we are down about 4Ks on the pot at the moment. So we've got about 4K resistance going to the base and as you can see it's driving it quite fine. So more than enough power in that trigger coil to run the machine. At the moment our input is 10 milliamps of our 12 volt battery and the output is 6 milliamps between 5 and 6. So we're 60% efficient already before we start any modifications and that's a pretty good start. The other thing I'm using different is the little diode of the collector. The uh, number for you. Um, it is a one kilovolt, 2.5 amp diode. And I'm just using this is because I had a couple of them, brand new. Thought I'd give them a try. And they are a PTC 205. That's that diode there. So like I said, we're 60% efficient, or very close to it as it stands in, um, well, pretty close to standard trim. To the SSG, like I said, it's only the coil that's different, <coughs> the pot, and of course the resistor, and we are running off the MJ15003 transistor. Simply by switching that button we are now running on the 2N3055. Which seems to draw a little more current but it also outputs a little more as well. So the two transistors are fairly close but we'll keep it like that, it may change with different setups one may be better than the other and um, we'll see all that throughout our testing next we're going to try and return the output back to the source we've done this plenty of times before I do have a couple of circuits on how to do this but uh, we'll try a couple of different ones along the way see how we go cheers from the tin men